So it well, just became really, like the norm. <laughs> yeah, that's really uh, amazing that you went from a six-figure bartender to a six-figure uh, mobile yes. uh, drink brand. It's drink brand, yeah, basically, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's and crazy. Yeah, it is crazy because I didn't, I didn't plan this. <laughs> oh, right. It Definitely. Was, it was kind of the best uh, where your customers are, you know, dictating the, yeah. the, the market demand. They created this niche for, for you. Um, mm -hmm. You're such an amazing bartender. Um, yes, thank you. This is still bartender. Yes. So now I'm just in the private realm. And that's, yeah, that's where it is because what's happening. In, and I noticed that Liquid Loud has took, taken over. So a lot of people don't know that I bartend. They just know I got good drinks. And I'm like, yeah, I bartend. So they're like, you do private bar? Yes, I actually bartend. So right now, um, probably, um, well, this year too, got two more months. I'm going to start focusing more on my bartending so they they won't just think I'm just a standalone drink brand. No, I'm the whole package. So <laughs> that's what I, you know, plan. I'm going to um create another leg. So I do have the mentorship. I have a drink brand and I'm going to create a, like a bartending service. Um, So people, you know, and I still bring my drinks to the bar, you know, the bartending, but I want to get like, you know, you, I'm sure you've seen all these, um, these bartenders, these mobile bars, they're starting to do all these aesthetics and get with the um, event planners. So I want to get with some top-notch event planners because if all I'm missing is my aesthetics, oh, that's nothing. I can do that. So, you know, I don't want to get overlooked because I know I have some good drinks, you know. And this is what I want to do. Yeah, that sounds like <laughs> a natural, you know, if you get paid. So how much as a mobile bartender, like, do you charge per hour or per event? Or I'm just wondering. I just do the how events. I have, now I am working on my different packages, but I'm just doing. I just do events because I don't charge about an hour. Because normally it's like fifty, um, not f five hours for an event. Is that's five to six hours? So that's what I probably like price it out as. And then you know you have to come in early. Okay, you know to set up. And you have to, you know, stay over to break down, you know, the, through the 30 minute. Like, it's a whole, like, you know how we have these events. It's still a whole, you know, system behind what's going on, especially with the weddings. Because a lot of people, um, I'm like, do you have co something for cocktail? What do you mean? While you're taking pictures, you can't expect your guests to just sit around. You know, you have to have something for them to do. You have to have a cocktail hour, whether it's beer or wine. It's so much that people don't know that goes into bartending. You know, they're like, oh, I didn't know all that. Of course you didn't. So, you know, therefore, that's where I come in and try to make it easy, you know, peasy as much as I possibly can, you know, with my expertise. So, yeah. Because the mobile bar, was that your first six-figure business or was the drink brand? Um, I think the drink brand because it took a – I like doing the drink brand. My sister liked doing the mobile bartending. I love bartending, but – I look at the money. I like making the, the drinks at the house and I could just go set up and, you know, I can make a cool, depend on what event, you know, what's going on. I can make between a good, good six to 10 K. So, you know what I'm saying? That's why I said the drink brand. Okay. <laughs> we don't usually make six to 10,000 as a bartender.